Good morning. Today I'm going to show you some methods to strengthen the foam for homemade flying wings uh, with a bunch of stuff you can uh, find in your foam. So um, we have uh, four types here. Foam without anything. This barely weighs 6 grams, but as you can see it's very floppy. We have uh, next at 8 grams, this is a uh, food wrapping, foil, you know, also didn't give any much strength. So let's put it aside. Next at 20 grams. This is a uh, paper uh, for baking with uh, white glue on it. There is some stiffness, a big improvement over uh, the first ones. And the last uh, I can find in home at 21 grams, we have wrapping paper brown, also very stiff. So this one, barely naked foam and uh, food uh, stain is the same, didn't give any much strength, this one only added weight and then as you can see wrinkles. But here with white glue uh, we have the paper. It's baking paper, yes, and they don't give me much. Let's see on the other side. They're kind of similar in strength, as I can see. Almost similar in weight. 20 grams and 21 grams but this one baking uh, paper for our one uh, wrinkles a lot so for me the winner is the wrapping paper the brown one stiffens a lot okay so let's make Show comparison with the same amount of strength. Naked foam. Food wrapping. Okay, it won't snap, but as you can see, it's very flexible. Baking paper. And brown wrapping paper. So I guess the winner would be this one. If you put some extra strength, a wooden spar or a carbon fiber, anything you have. Yeah, this one uh, goes back in shape nicer than this one. Even if uh, it has this wrinkle, it keeps the, the shape. This one has the wrinkle and remained broken, as you can see. Okay, that concludes my test here. You choose. For me the winner is a brown paper. Have a nice day.